Hi, it's Mike Anderson from Gear Diary, and you might wonder why am I holding this uh, tablet sideways? Well, it is the the Google Nexus 7 by Asus, and one of the uh, <clears throat> features is that the home screen is non-rotating. And the reason I want it in landscape mode is I would like to play some games and show you the power of this system playing. So. Let's start right off, and I'll just bring this in. One of the first games I want to play is Shadow Gun, a high-quality shooter that has a special THD uh, version, which is set up to uh, take advantage of the Tegra 3 processor that's in. So here we go, starting up. I'm trying to get this thing cranking. Hopefully you'll be able to see some of the advantages offered by the Tegra. Let's see if I can make it any louder. Yeah, that's about as loud as that thing gets. Now, I just started playing this a little bit, and that's when, uh, after playing this for a little bit, I decided to give a little video look. So, load times on this are not too terrible. Um, I would say that I've seen them faster, certainly on, on the iPad, and um, you know, about the same as most Android tablets that I've seen. Um, but it does make you wait a little bit. And there we go. So, you've got normal, good graphics. You've got look on one side. Shoot. You get some... Okay, well, that wasn't the most um, beautiful way of doing things, but got the job done. And if I bolt on over, pick up some rounds, pick up some more, you get a feel for what it's bringing to the party. You've got in the center of the screen, you have some nice um, lighting effects, some nice, uh, really detailed rotations, some particle. The, the way the lighting actually works, and you see in the background, that's a really, really solid-looking game. Okay, so let's see what happens when I want to get out of here. Anyway, so there we go. Just quit out, and of course, the next time I go in, it'll load back to the checkpoint. So that is a an optimized for Tegra game. Boots me back to my sideways screen, um, brings up a couple other advertisements that I haven't gotten rid of yet. So from there, let's go from a shooter, let's go to a tower defense game. Uh, one of my favorites for a while is uh, Field Runners. It's a, definitely a fun game to play, and I have one in progress now. Well, I guess part of the, the volume issue was on... Um, Shadow gun itself because this is definitely louder. So let's resume. The load. Again, we're waiting a little bit on this one. But not too bad. And let's. And while we're at it, why don't we bring up a couple of uh, towers? What a nice slowdown effect. There we go. Start to upgrade. Really not too much else to tell there. This is, you know, it's not all that demanding a game. It's been available for a while on uh, iPhone, iPod. Um, you can get a lot of action going and speed it up a little bit. You see there's really no slowdown. Um, the graphics really look very well done. You've got incoming sprites um, as well as just the overall action. Nice little explosion. Physics, little butterflies. So a lot can happen on screen at once without causing an issue. 
So let's see, actually it's pretty nice when the helicopter comes over. I think at least one, oh, nope, nobody got through. So I'm gonna go ahead and quit out of this one. Okay. Okay, well, I have a bunch of things going on. It is always nice to look at something sideways. Yes, this is a little bit funky. Um, go to Abaddon which is a RPG. Now one note on Avedon was that when I went to install it, it said that it really was not recommended for use on um, this tablet. And you can see that it's not using the entire screen, it's just using part of it. Also, it's, it's loading what I can only describe as um, slowly. So, so this is the last autosave, which is interesting because I did save after that. The uh, detection is a little bit slow, and if you can see, there's a fair amount of redraw. This is definitely not um, not the smoothest game. There's, you know, you would think this is a fairly rudimentary looking game, but there is a lot of stuff and calculations going on, flowing of robes and that, um, and so it ends up being relatively demanding for this type of system. This is the identical game from the iPad uh, and from the Mac and PC, um, so. Let's see. see, my hit detection was not so great there. So I want to see if I can actually get to give the letter. Chances are you can't read this. It's relatively small, and here it works pretty well. Um, I actually think this is an interesting thing that I, I believe that it worked better on the, uh, on the Kindle Fire. The scaling of the screen was a little bit better. The performance was at least as good, which is very interesting because the other games, especially Shadowgun, just it was a no-show on, on that platform. So, from there, let's go ahead and I will save. Yes, I do want to overwrite that, and now I want to quit. I really do. Do I want to save? No, I do not. Okay, so that brings me back there. So I've looked at Shadowgun, Avidon, Field Runners. We've got a high performance, especially for Tegra uh, game. Um, and I've seen a little bit, I didn't hear any there, but some of the audio that I saw in Shadowgun in my first playthrough was a little bit choppy. So, let me go ahead and, uh, we can always look at Modern Combat 3. Now this is, again, a, it's a game loft game. It's incompatible with most systems, so I was actually happy to hear that it worked with this one. Oh well. So, apparently it did not work with this one. It indicated it did. So, I am going to not choose to do that now. So, so although it had indicated and was ready to go the last time, um, just wasn't going to happen apparently. So let's get into Rockstar. Okay, let's tap. There we go. Decent performance, loading still. Again, that's, that's one thing I'm definitely experiencing here, is that there's a kind of a mixed bag of loading times. So I'm going to skip through that. I'm not really worried about that at this point. I'm going to start a new game. Um, some dry-in. Okay. And of course, that's a fun thing with uh, with playing the GTA games. So I'm gonna let that go at this point. And obviously, Modern Combat 3, I could not look at at this point, um, unless finally C is Crosswinds, the Flying City. I didn't put that up. This is G5. A hidden object based game. We'll see how that comes up. It actually it had to go through before and load up some um, some added materials. So here's the, the main screen. 
Again, does not take advantage of the outer edges due to the uh, um, due to the different resolution. And this is just right now in the demo mode. So, talking about dimensional travel. So father and daughter. It's, I've already reviewed this game for the iPad on the site. You can always take a look at that. And of course, he gets himself into trouble, and the daughter is left holding the bag. So you pinch to zoom in, pinch to zoom out. Well, right now it's just teaching me what to do. And there we go. Pinch either way and show you what you're doing. So again, it's solid performance. And now here we go. We're starting right away with hidden objects in order to be able to go through. So you have a hint system. Right now we're earning towards our next hint that's really about all there is for that. So, there you have some basic gaming on uh, the Google Nexus uh, tablet. And really what impressed me right out of the box was the way Shadowgun looked and performed. It does fairly well on some other things. It's interesting that Avidon is not a great performer on here, uh, not optimized for this, and it definitely seems that, like I've seen with some other uh, Android tablets, things that are not optimized for the screen size for that particular tablet, there tend to be some glitching and, and other uh, problematic issues. Keep an eye out for the remainder of my view when I look at the rest of the Nexus system. Thanks, again from Gear Diary.